Hey YouTube, Murray Mayhem here. You may not be able to see me. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. There you go. Bam. We are in the storm shelter. I'm going to show you just... Uh, it's kind of always something you have to maintain. And then this section, this little area that we're doing is a work in progress. You can see this is... That side is completely buried. And then that side is buried as well. This is a layer of steel, a layer of foam, a layer of steel. So, we are pretty well insulated. And actually, if uh, truth be known, this is a Faraday cage. Uh, once you close the door and get everything situated. Uh, so, I, I'm cleaning up, checking, and everything. This is something I do like once a month just out here. Uh, make sure there's no wasp nest. Snakes, kind of pull everything out. Uh, it does, uh, that we do get a little bit of moisture in here, so it, uh, once a month I'll pull everything out, mop it down with Clorox, wipe the walls down, air it out, just keep everything down. And it's something, this is something my wife had always been concerned about. We live in a really bad area in uh, central Alabama. And look up Tuscaloosa, or uh, uh, some of the other areas, Oak Grove. Alabama and you'll see the uh, uh, the reason that she's so concerned about tornadoes uh, because you know we've had F4s and F5s come through and wipe out everything the last one was F4 that came down and turned about a mile uh, down that road and uh, otherwise it would have came across and we were uh, huddled up under the uh, street in a drain pipe um, that's what led me to do this. So, it's like I said, it's kind of a work in progress. We uh, work and tweak, adjust. Um, uh, five or six people could hang out in here for uh, two or three days. Um, I, I've got set up, for, uh, you know, food, water, medical supplies, uh, air, uh, generator. I've got everything situated, but it's. Uh, I don't know. It's just something that we're working on, getting everything situated. This is one thing my wife said if we were going to live in this area in Tornado Alley that uh, she wanted this to feel safe. So we do. And everybody laughingly calls this uh, my bunker. So this is my bunker. And if you actually want to see the real one, I'd have to kill you. So uh, the real one's underground. It's like 12 stories, uh, you know, elevators, stuff like that rocket launchers, lasers, all kinds of stuff. But I can't show you that. I'd have to kill you. Okay, guys, so, so now we're back. Did not mean for this video to run into this. Doing like an update on the uh, a bunker of the storm shelter. Uh, this is what I do across the top of it. Basil, cilantro, uh, peppers, hot and sweet. Just pack them in across the top of it. Might as well. Because that is good topsoil that I bought. So you can see, well, heck, we'll walk up here real quick. I know this video is dragging out. I know we, a lot of you guys are saying, I don't want to watch this video about this crap. Well, suck it up, buttercup. Peppers, basil. Look at those buds. Look at those buds. What street value is that? Hmm, you guys know. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. We do have to get some more railroad ties, uh, ties and go across the top of this just to help reinforce it. We're going to cover this in with dirt. Uh, always a work in progress. This is where I'm looking to put uh, uh, that windy unit just to uh, help. But again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And as always, y'all going to make some mayhem. Please share it for the love of God. Why not? Hey, y'all going to make some mayhem.